Michael, guess what? Our wedding photos are finally ready to download. I just checked them out and they are all stunning. How are we going to pick? I got so emotional looking at them. They brought back all these memories from that day. It was like a dream come true. LOL. And you? You look handsome in every single shot. But that's no surprise. You always look good. Really? They're ready? I've been dying to see them. You're so lucky you can see them right now. I'm stuck at work. I'll check them out as soon as I get a chance. Our wedding was such a blast, don't you think? Oh, I remember everything so vividly. It sure was. It was the happiest day of my life. Even my boss and co-workers said how beautiful the ceremony was. I think we impressed everyone. It was totally worth all the time and effort we put into it. I'm so happy everything went smoothly. Me too. Especially after all the hard work we did throughout the year to make it happen. It would have been a disaster if something went wrong. But luckily, everything was perfect and we had so much fun. The planning was stressful and exhausting. But it paid off when we saw all our loved ones having a great time with us. And let's not forget about that crazy diet we were on. <laughs> we really had to sacrifice a lot to fit into our outfits. That was the toughest part for me. I'm so glad we can finally indulge ourselves. Wait a minute. Don't get too carried away. You can't just eat whatever you want now. What do you mean? Why not? We still have our honeymoon to look forward to. Remember, if we pig out now, we'll gain weight and won't look good in our swimsuits. I want us to look hot in them. Oh yeah, I almost forgot about that. I guess we'll have to stick to this diet for a bit longer then, huh? Well, if you're careful and eat sensibly, I think that's fine. It's all about balance. You're right. I'll do that. But honestly, I can't live without alcohol anymore. It's been too long. I definitely want to drink as much as I want when we go on our trip. And besides, we're going overseas for the first time. I want to try all the local food and drinks there. It's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for us. Speaking of which, where are you taking me for our honeymoon? You did pick a place by the ocean, right? Of course I did. I want somewhere on the Mediterranean Sea. Hmm, a country on the Mediterranean Sea. How about Spain? I don't know much about foreign countries, but is Spain a good place to go? Absolutely. It has a lot of world heritage sites and some amazing resorts. Spain is awesome. And the food? It's delicious. Surprisingly, it goes well with American palates too. So, there's not much we won't like. Really? Then that's perfect. We'll get to taste a lot of new dishes. Exactly. But remember, in moderation. Anyway, I really want to stay in Spain for at least a week. I think I can swing that if I time it with the holidays at work. I think I'll have the most days off in July. That might work out well. If it's around then, I won't have too much trouble getting some days off. It'll probably be crowded if we go in July, but who cares? It'll still be fun. Do you really think it'll be that crowded? Yeah. It's probably going to be crowded in the summer. A lot of people travel during that time, especially to Spain. But it doesn't really matter for us if we book a resort. If we book a resort, will they have tours and stuff too? I've never been abroad before, so I'd feel better if we had some guided tours arranged. We can do that. It shouldn't be too hard. I can book our tour here at work. I'll do it later. Since I work here, I can get a discount. I don't know why I didn't think of this before. Awesome! That's what I call teamwork. It's great that you work for a travel agency too. It really helps in this kind of situation. Plus, you know all the tricks and tips when it comes to travel. And you can handle all the paperwork without any hassle. Right! I'm glad I work here. A lot of people will want to go on this trip. So, I have to reserve our spots as soon as possible. If I wait too long, even the hotels will be sold out. You're right. Let's do it as soon as possible. Oh yeah, make sure you book for three people, please. I'll leave all the details to you. Wait, book for three people? 
What do you mean? Isn't it just the two of us? Nope. Three people. Us and one more. Michael? What are you talking about? You know, this is our honeymoon we're planning, right? Why would there be three people? Relax. My mom said she wants to come with us. I told her it was fine. Again? What? Your mom wants to come with us? Let me get this straight. She wants to tag along on our honeymoon? Well, not exactly. She just hasn't been overseas before, so she thought it would be a good chance. It's perfect. Don't you think? We enjoy our honeymoon and she does her own thing. We'll just be in the same place. Michael, I don't think that's perfect at all. There's no way we're taking her on this trip with us. Doesn't she know what a honeymoon is? It's not something she should be crashing. And why don't you know that? What makes you think bringing your mom is okay? I mean, she asked me to take her with us, so I didn't really question it. She's my mom after all. There's no way I can say no to her. Why not? You should be able to say no to her in this case. You don't think it's weird to bring your parent along with you on a honeymoon vacation? Because it is. Even if I know my mom is wrong, I can't go against her wishes. I get what you're saying. I just can't do it. How about this? Why don't you say something? You're the one who has a problem with it too. So you should tell her instead of me. Are you kidding me? We just got married. And you want me to do that? There is no way telling her she can't come will make me look good as a daughter-in-law. See? So let's just accept it and move on. Bookings for three, please. Besides, my mom isn't really stubborn, so I doubt she'll change her mind no matter what we say. Just hurry up and make those bookings, please. It's peak season, so everything will be gone if you don't hurry. Haha, <laughs> thanks. Like I have a choice. Fine. I was really looking forward to this trip too. But now, I'll have to deal with this mess. It shouldn't have to be like this. Michael, we have an early flight tomorrow. How long are you going to be out? And have you packed yet? It looks like your suitcase is still in the closet. Did you pack and get ready for the trip? Yeah, I've got everything I need. I've been preparing for weeks. So you're done. Great. Then you can pack my stuff too. What? Why do I have to pack your bags? Do it yourself. I knew you weren't ready. I have no clue what to pack for an overseas trip. You would be doing me a favor. You're an expert at this. It won't take you long, will it? It doesn't matter if it's overseas or domestic. You pack the same things. It's not rocket science. Just come home and pack your clothes. Don't I need a smaller bag to carry around when I'm overseas? And what about medicine? Do I need to bring some in case I get sick or something? And clothes? How many outfits do I need? You're overthinking it. You don't need to worry so much. The worst thing that can happen is you forget something minor. If that happens, you can just buy it from a store in Spain. Just hurry up and get home so you can get ready. And we can leave on time. Don't say that. You don't get it because you're used to traveling and packing is easy for you. Why don't you just help me out a little? I did all the paperwork in booking for this trip, didn't I? The least you can do is pack your own bags. Why do you want to start a fight the day before our trip? I didn't do anything. You're the one who's getting angry. That's because you're making me do all the extra work for you. At this point, it would be easier for me to just go on this trip by myself. Where are you anyway? I'm at my family's house. I came to check on my mom. For what? Aren't you going to see her tomorrow? You're wasting time. She called me over. She wanted me to help her pack for the trip tomorrow. So you have time to help your mom pack when you haven't even packed your own stuff and then you expect me to pack your stuff? You know, my mom isn't in good health. She can barely lift her bags. I'd feel terrible not helping her right now. Besides, I'm just going to pack whatever she tells me, so it won't take long. Are you being a mama's boy? No, I'm not. This is normal. Plus, I can't say no to her when she asks me for help. I know your mom can be intimidating sometimes, but you need to stand up for yourself and just stop blaming everything on her. I'm sick of this. Just get home and pack your bags. Stop doing whatever you want and make me do everything for you. Okay, okay. I'll be home soon. Just one thing. What now? Can we use the same phone charger overseas that we use here? No. You can't use the same one overseas. The outlets are different, so it won't fit the wall. Then how am I supposed to charge my phone? I have an adapter, and we'll bring it with us, so don't worry about it. 
Wait, what about the internet? Are you saying that I won't be able to use the internet either? Calm down. You can use the internet there. I'm going to rent a pocket Wi-Fi, so again, don't worry about it. Oh, that's a relief. Oh yeah, I heard there's a lot of pickpockets overseas too. Is that true? Would it be better for me to leave my backpack in the hotel when we walk around? Or should I just not take it at all? What should I take with me? That was way more than one question, Michael. I'm sorry, but when I worry about one thing, more and more come to mind. I just can't help it. How about you put in some effort and research it yourself? If you do that, I'm sure the answers will come up. Well, yeah, but it's easier to ask you. And my mom keeps asking questions too. You already know the answers, so just tell me. Are you seriously blaming your mom again? Give me a break. You've done nothing at all to prepare for this trip. I've done everything. Honest to God, I'm tired of this. Do not ask me to do anything else for you for this entire trip. All I did was ask a few simple questions. No need for you to get so upset. Please, just come down. Michael, where are you? Answer me already. You should have landed in Spain hours ago. Yeah, we did. Sorry, I was too tired to text you back. Flying for 15 hours is no joke. Don't give me that. You owe me an explanation. Why did you ditch me at the airport? It wasn't my fault. You went to the bathroom right before boarding time, and you didn't come out until the plane was gone. And you didn't think to wait for me? Or at least leave my ticket behind? Or maybe you wanted me to miss the flight on purpose? Of course not. Why would I do that? I love you, Delaney. You know that. Do I? Because you sure don't act like it. You and your mom did something to me, didn't you? What are you talking about? Don't play dumb with me. There's no way I would get sick like that out of the blue. I always take care of myself before flying. And you want me to believe that you and your mom had nothing to do with my stomach cramps? And how could you leave your own wife behind when she was in pain? Well, it would have been a waste of money if we missed the flight. We paid a lot for those tickets. So that's what matters to you? Money? Not me? Not our marriage? You planned this whole thing, didn't you? You made me sick so I couldn't go with you. Admit it! Fine, fine. You're right. <laughs> I wanted you to stay home in New York. How could you do this to me? Remember the coffee I made for you this morning? I put some laxatives in it, but only a little bit. My mom gave them to me. She said they were harmless. Are you kidding me? You drugged me? You tricked me into drinking that? I had no choice. My mom said she wanted this trip to be just for us and that you would ruin our fun. So you chose your mom over me? You listened to her instead of me? Your wife? Trust me, you wouldn't have enjoyed yourself anyway. My mom would have made sure of that. She would have ignored you and made you feel lonely. It's better for you to stay home. I did you a favor by leaving you there. You'll have more fun than if you came with us. How can you say that? How can you act like you did nothing wrong? You know how much this trip means to me. How much I worked for it. How much I wanted to see Spain with you. I know, and I'm sorry for that. Sorry doesn't cut it, Michael. You betrayed me. You hurt me. You left me behind after all I did for this trip. But I can't go against my mom. She's always right. Don't blame your mom for everything. You're just as guilty as she is. Are you still at the airport? No. I'm home. Why would I stay there? It would only make me feel worse. Not to mention, my stomach is killing me. Thanks to you, I feel like I'm dying here. I'm sorry. Maybe I put too many laxatives in your coffee. Do you think saying sorry will make everything okay? When I get home, I'll buy you anything you want. Anything. Just name it. I'll bring you a lot of souvenirs too. I'll be sure to only get the things that you like. So please don't be mad at me. I promise I'll make it up to you. Do you think I'm some kind of idiot? There is no way I'd ever forgive you for doing this to me. We already left, so this conversation is kind of pointless. There's nothing I can do at this point. You can go on a trip another time. I'm sure you'll have many chances. This time, just be okay with letting my mom go on a trip. She's old and doesn't come across many chances like this. 
what are you talking about? This whole conversation is about how I should be there with you, not who should have or should not have gone. Saying I should just be okay with letting your mom go makes no sense. Like I said before, you would have just been in the way. If you're here, there's no way my mom would be able to enjoy herself. So this is what it comes down to. No matter what, your mom is always going to be just that much more important to you than me. Huh, you just planned to use me from the beginning? You did everything to make sure I planned this trip and enable the two of you to go. Wow. Look, let's just end this conversation. We're going in circles, and I don't want either of us to say something we might regret. Me and my mom are both tired from the jet lag too. I want to sleep. We still have to board the train, get to the hotel, and unpack. I'm too tired to argue with you. I will never forgive you for this. After what you've done, I'll make sure neither of you have time in that trip. Delaney, what the heck is going on? They're saying we don't have any hotel reservations. And now they're saying the tour was cancelled too. Maybe it's a mistake. Yeah, they made a mistake, right? What should I do about this? Help! Delaney, are you there? Hello? Hello? I know you're seeing my texts. You're always looking at your phone. Answer me, we need help. I don't know what to do. Hello? Delaney, answer me. Oh, you are so annoyingly persistent. What do you want, Michael? What are they talking about cancelled? What's going on? Didn't you make the reservation? We can't check into the hotel. I know. And yes, I did make the reservation. Then I cancelled it. I cancelled everything that we had planned. Wait, what? How? It's night time back home, isn't it? The time difference doesn't matter. It could be 6pm there and 12am here. And I could still cancel. I contacted the hotel directly. So it doesn't matter what time it is here. Oh, you're lying, right? It actually took you longer than expected to get to the hotel room from the airport. Did you all stop somewhere on the way? We didn't really understand how to navigate the terrain, so it took a lot of time. My mom kept saying that she was tired and her feet hurt, so we stopped at a cafe to rest for a bit. It was hard to ask for help at the cafe, and it took so long before we figured out where to go from there. Well, it actually worked out. Thanks for taking so long to get to the hotel. It was a great help to me. Thanks to that, I was able to cancel everything before you arrived. Is this your way of getting revenge for us leaving you? I don't even understand Spanish, so I have no way of conversing with the people at the front desk. What the heck should I do about this? I guess all you can do is look for a new hotel by yourself, but good luck with that. Last time I checked, every hotel was fully booked. You might want to hurry up with that too. If you don't, your mom might start complaining and saying she's tired again. Oh my gosh, all she's been doing is complaining this entire time. Wow, that's happening even though there's no one there to get in the way of you two. For someone who hasn't done anything themselves, to sit there and complain is just ridiculous. Your mom is really the worst. If you know, then help me. Delaney, please. Why should I have to help you? Why don't you get your head on straight and figure out what to do about it yourself? All the two of you do is leave everything to everyone else to figure it out for you. You never do anything yourselves. Why are you suddenly being so harsh? I'll do anything. Just help already. You'll do anything for me? There's nothing I want you to do for me, Michael. Plus, how would you do anything for me? We've already broken up. I have no need for that. What do you mean by broken up? Obviously. I'm telling you that I'm divorcing you. I'll prepare all the paperwork, so don't worry. I'll also be moved out before you get back. So don't worry about that either. We won't have to see each other. Hold on a second. You're moving out? Where are you going to? I'll just go to my family's house for now. I called my parents as soon as you left me by myself. Looking like an idiot in that airport. My dad came all the way to the airport to pick me up. He was pissed. And my mom was too. They said they're going to get a lawyer and everything else I need ready for this divorce. So you better prepare yourself. Wait, so you're at your family's house right now? Yep, I am. When I wake up in the morning, I'll be going by the house with my parents to get all of my things. I extended the time until you'd be back. So, I'll make sure I get everything done slowly and carefully. You're saying you're even preparing a lawyer? So what exactly are you planning to do? I'm making sure 
you pay me back for the flight, the cancellation fee, and the reparations. I was stuck in the airport for hours because of the coffee you made me drink. I couldn't move at all. That literally is the same as you causing me incidental injury. If that's the case, you put us in a bad position too. You cancelled our reservations even though you knew. I have no experience traveling abroad. Now we don't have anywhere to stay. Maybe we'll just sleep outside. Maybe we'll get lucky and not freeze to death. Are you serious? You do know it's not safe enough to do that, right? Would you do that here in New York? You can't go to sleep outside. But there's a chance you might be robbed or worse. Some of your things may be gone when you wake up. Robbed? Are you serious? I thought it was safer here. Yeah, it might be a little safer. But the risk is just about the same as if you were back here. There are definitely worse countries you could have gone to. Nevertheless, it's still pretty dangerous there. So I shouldn't sleep outside? Isn't that obvious from everything I just said? It's dangerous enough just walking outside alone at night. I can't even imagine how bad it would be to sleep out there. So I really shouldn't sleep outside then? I have literally been saying that the whole time. How many times do you want me to repeat myself? I have a good idea. If a mugger does show up, why don't you use your mom as a shield? Your mom is pretty scary. So the guy might actually run away. There is no way in hell I could do that. Wow, so your mom really is useless. But I guess that's where you get it from. You're both pretty useless. Look, I understand you're angry. I get it. It took me a while to realize, but what I did was messed up. I'm really, really sorry, the lady. I'm sorry. Do you think an apology is going to save you? If you want to sleep outside, please be my guest. To be honest, I could care less about what happens to you at this point. I just want my money. Delaney, please don't say that. I'm begging you, so please just help me. I am not nice enough to help a random person. Figure that out yourself. Enjoy the remaining six days you have in Spain. I'm so happy I could help you and your mom create this wonderful memory together. LOL. In the end, it seems like that idiot and his mom went back to the airport and stayed the night there. On the second day, they were able to find somewhere to stay, but only the places left were crappy hotels. Apparently, they stayed in a filthy room and were bitten by bugs all night. My mother-in-law was bitten by a strange bug and had to go to the dermatologist for a while after returning back to New York. The two of them had no idea where to go for sightseeing. So, my mother-in-law was constantly in a terrible mood. It seems neither of them were able to enjoy themselves for the entire trip. On the day they arrived back in the States, my dad went to the airport and waited for Michael's plane to arrive. And as soon as Michael stepped through the gate, my dad grabbed him by the collar and began yelling at him profusely while he was kneeling down on the ground. After that, Michael paid me reparations because his mom was at the center of the whole thing and made me drink the coffee. I had her pay. Me too. When my lawyer threatened her with a lawsuit, she offered $20,000 in reparations. I accepted, and we settled out of court. After losing all of her savings, my mother-in-law clung to Michael like a parasite and depended on him for everything. Inevitably, the two of them would have a falling out, or Michael would just abandon his mother and run away. No matter which one happens, it doesn't seem like either of them will be having a bright future ahead.